Salutations fellow hobbyists and welcome to my very first review video. My first ever video on this channel was the unbox for the Zeta 2.0, so I thought it was only fitting that I review this kit. Before I begin, I just want to show you guys how we do reviews here. So, to find the verdict, I look at the build, the features, and likability factor and give each a 1 to 10. With that, let's dive in to the build. This was my fifth Master Grade. So building this Master Grade was very different compared to the others. For many of the parts, it felt like building a mechanism rather than a plastic model. There are a few of the inner frame that peek out, something that we want in modern Master Grade. I don't recommend this to the first time Master Grade builders, but if this is your first, you can still do it. Building the hangar slash action base was fun and easy due to the big parts. It was the first thing I did, and I recommend you do too. It'll be a good warm up. The color separations are good, everything comes in the correct color. I didn't need to paint anything except for the pilot figures of course, but that's a given. The only color correcting needed are the yellow tick marks all around that can be fixed with the provided stickers. But if you prefer to paint, even better. However, for me, the yellow stickers suffice. But if I were to nitpick, I'd say the wing tips should be red, but the inner part should be black. I suppose this is supposed to be the look for the 2.0, so I guess that's fine. Also too, there's part of the gun that should be yellow, but I didn't really care for that. The Hyper Mega Launcher. One part broke on me. So don't do what I did, which was trying to raise this part by pulling on this. Do this instead. I had a blast building the Zeta 2.0. It was a breath of fresh air and a new dimension to building these gunplug kits. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for the build. Next, the features. This is everything it comes with. I love the action base slash launch pad. It's a instant diorama. You can attach it to the Mark II's action base even though it's static. It can hold the Zeta in Wave Rider mode. And you can keep the adapters in the bottom. And grenade packs too. The beam effect can be used with the gun. So it looks like it's firing something or the Zeta would sometimes use the beam like a bayonet. They include the Hyper Meg Launcher too, a nice bonus and it's not heavy, it's actually long and light. It can hold it as you can see. I wouldn't care if they didn't include it but I know it would bother some. The beam rifle, there is this piece that always stick out no matter what configuration it's in. So bear that in mind. It can hold its gun, but you'll have to tuck it under its arms. That's where the side to side wiggle comes in handy. The cockpit? Sadly, it looks great in Wave Rider, but in mobile suit mode, I don't think it looks right. They try to angle the pilot, but it still looks off. It reminds me of those roller coasters that stop in the middle of the track with everyone facing down. Yeah, that's what it looks like here. Finally, the biggest gimmick for this guy, the transformation. I think it's one of the hardest transformation for a master grade, but that's not a bad thing. I find it to be quite an experience rather than a challenge. There are three pressure points that make people hate this thing when transforming it. First, the wings, the 
attaching of the shield and the legs sometimes. And also sometimes the instruction manual, they tell you to do a certain thing as like swing the legs a certain direction as if there's no other leg there. So be patient and make sure you identify which part is which in the manual and take your time. Also bear in mind that if you're used to transforming transformer figures, this is nothing like that. This is way harder. So don't expect that type of experience. Because bear in mind that this here is still held together by pegs and joints and not as strong as the transformers would be. So with that said, you'll need a lot of patience and some discipline to transform this kit. So don't rush it though. You don't want to break anything. And I hope you'll enjoy the transformation as I did. I'm actually mind blown by its design to make it transform. So much intricity goes into it. There are no parts forming, which is great in my opinion. I love it when you can transform something without adding anything else to it. Everything you need to transform is on this guy and nothing added and nothing taken. And there are no parts that pretend to be certain parts, you know? Like my leader class, Optimus Prime, the bottom of the feet is actually the grill for the hood. It's very faithful to how it transform in the anime. So for that, I actually love the transformation gimmick. So the gimmicks slash feature gets an 8 out of 10. Why not a 10 out of 10? The cockpit and also not being able to store everything under the action base and the transformation is not as friendly for many and no landing gear prevents it from getting a perfect 10. Finally, the likability factor. I have high regards for this kit. I love the Z molded on its head. Bandai put a lot of thought into this kit with the Wave Rider and Gundam to look its best with little to no compromise. It can stand. Some find it hard to believe but once you find that sweet spot, it stands. I even bumped this table a few times while filming it and it does not fall over. Biggest compromise would be no app crunch, but that's to accommodate the transformation. Perhaps it can't hold many ground poses, but that's what the action base is for. Knowing that it will be limited, they provide this action base and even made some areas tight on this kit to keep the kit as stable as they can. I love the proportions of this guy. I always thought this guy compared with the double Zeta to be like a football player and a football player. And some iteration of the Zeta is a little chunky looking. It still holds up today looking like any other modern master grade. And this kit is from 2005. And if I were to nitpick, I say there's not many panel lines. but. I don't want it to have as much panel lines too because today we have a third party that came up with a more busier looking design and looking at that design I still prefer this one because they really did give this kit a good balance to the design and it looks compatible with the Mark II 2.0 Gundam so if I haven't stressed this enough this really is my favorite iteration of the Zeta Gundam. In Wave Rider mode, it doesn't look chunky. It actually looks angular. So for the likability factor, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's not perfect. I don't regret getting it. And even when there are newer releases, i.e. the real grade, the high grade, even third party versions, I still like this guy. Actually, if they angled the pilot, 
in the cockpit to face forward in Gundam mode, I would give it a 10. Now, for the verdict. 10 for the build, 8 for features, and 9.5 for likability. So we get 760 over 1000. In other words, if you're collecting a Master Grade from turn A to Zeta, get this guy. This is a great and seriously for some reason very underrated kit. It should be regarded as one of the best Master Grades out there. However, if Bandai ever comes up with a 3.0 for this guy, I'm currently making a video on what a 3.0 Zeta would be like. So hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on that coming episode on Hobby Head. For now, thank you so much for watching. And fellow hobbyists, keep things awesome, keep the hobbies going, and keep the hobbyists alive. I am Toyama23, signing out.